sediment section. So here we go. This one is for all the marbles. By all the marbles, I mean moving on to round two. Oh, we have a black and a green, which is good enough for the disowned ancestor and the parapet. So I'm going to keep. I do get uh, one more draw since he goes first. I get to scout the borders if I hit a land. So I'm going to yield that. Okay, well I get my blue source. But first I'm going to go for the Disowned Ancestor. Uh, so next turn I can either outlast it or play a parapet. Starting off awfully defensively. And if I can keep that defense going on the ground between those two. Let's see, got a 2-3? Okay. so he's not getting through on the ground. All right, sorry, I had a little interruption there. Uh, let's see, we can still morph down the Mystic this turn, but we can't flip it back up unless we've got that blue source. So it's probably better to morph a pony back at this point, and I guess try to trade off with it. Or, yeah, I think this is actually probably the most efficient. Well, no, I can scout the borders too. Yeah, there's a lot of play decisions here to make. I think what I'm going to do for now, just to go more on the aggressive plan, that seemed to work for me more last game, is to play that down. And then I can either outlast or parapet. For now, I'm going to outlast. And the reason I did that, I could have got the immediate point in, um, but this at least signals that I've got something that would, you know, work with you know, stuff that's got a 1-1 one, one counter. So I get to uh, bluff just a little bit on that. Okay, so now I've got 4 mana, which doesn't do a whole lot for me. And there's nothing I can really do with 2. So now I'm in another awkward spot. No, actually there is something I can do with 4 mana. I can do both of these. So I'll do that. Yeah, this is still awkward. Not sure if there are better ways to play. I'm positive there are better ways to play this. Uh, but for now, I'll just get that up to a 2-6. I'll be able to block and drain him for one. And after that, when I hit 5 mana, I can just play the Mystic straight and spend less mana overall on it than I normally would. Still waiting around for Pony back to become active. I do have Scout the Borders. Okay, so he's still stuck on two. So I should probably be getting a little bit more aggressive than I currently am. Alright, so I've got him down to 18. We can just go straight into a Mystic. I do have Singing Bell Strike. I think it's probably best use of mana here, though, to just play the Mystic. There we go, just cast it. Okay, so after this I can get through a guaranteed four if I want to run my game that way. If I get one more outlast in, I can start attacking through the chief of the scale. I can also just bell strike it. What did he do? Okay, he debilitating injured. That was a strong play for him. Okay, I can also just straight up play a five five, which is gonna be pretty good. So, I don't see any reason not to just do that. Alright, so now I've got myself a 5-5, five, five, and less than 5 minutes on my clock. So we'll do it that way. Normally I don't want to play a Singing Bell Strike on something that has an ability. No, it's just a static ability. But it might be worth it to start getting in two. Might also be good to scout the borders just to put the nail in the coffin. This is pretty good, too. Yeah, I think I'll do that and Bell Strike. Okay. So we're going to morph this. Like that. And then we're going to Bell Strike here. And that should be able to do a fair amount of damage. 
because I'm going to get him for 7 this turn, and then the turn after that, 12. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for him to have any combination of cards that draws him out of this. The third untapped land is a start to it, but I'm still not that scared. Uh, if he can... Okay, so that that's a perfect one to be able to savage, savage punch there. Okay. I can fight something, counter something, or... Okay, well that's, that's just perfect. So I do need a red mana for that, so it's not just perfect. Uh, I guess I... First thing I do here is just attack him. So we'll get through for seven. And then I guess I go looking for a red mana so that I can use the teamer charm. All right, so let's scout some borders. Leaving up the parapet. All right, I'll grab myself. What do I need? Red mana? Well, red mana is not available. So I'll just grab the Citadel. All right, there goes the dream of the Brood Tyrant. Okay, I do get the Parapet, though. All right, that might help his clock a little bit. At least changes the Parapet plan. Okay, so we get that off. He's going to need something to draw him out here. I'm going to send in the clowns. He's making me work for it. What does he have for junk mana? Is he just making me go through the motions? Yeah, he is. Okay, so there we go. Picked up that match uh, through all of the play mistakes, and I got a fair bit of variance going my way. But